Muli sa magandang umaga, Pilipinas, ito po ang uh, pagpapatuloy ng special coverage ng telebisyon ng bayan ng uh, state visit ni uh, Myanmar President Ten Sen at katatapos lang po ng expanded bilateral meeting. Ito po ay, uh, ako po si Cathy San Gabriel, uh, napapanood niyo po live mula sa Palasyo ng Malacanang at uh, matapos ang expanded bilateral meeting ay inaasahan na magkakaroon ng signing of agreement ang uh, ng, uh, dalawang leader at uh, maging ng iba't iba mga miyembro ng kanilang delegasyon. Magbibigay rin ng joint press statement si President Aquino at President Sen kung saan susundan ng isang luncheon para sa bumibisitang leader. Panoorin po natin ang programa. The Honorable Minister for Foreign Affairs, U Wuna Mong Luin. The MOA grants a no visa entry to Filipino nationals holding ordinary passports for stays in Myanmar not exceeding 14 days. Myanmar nationals may already enter the Philippines without a visa for up to 30 days under Executive Order 408. The next agreement is the Memorandum of Understanding between the Government of the Republic of the Philippines through the Department of Agriculture and the Government of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar through the Ministry of Agriculture and Irrigation on Food Security and Agricultural Cooperation to be signed between the Honorable Secretary of Agriculture, Proceso J. Alcala, and the Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Irrigation, U. Mint Lane. The MOU establishes a general framework for bilateral cooperation in the field of food security and agriculture. It provides for the promotion of investments through joint venture arrangements. The third agreement is the Memorandum of Agreement between the Government of the Republic of the Philippines and the Government of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar in the field of renewable energy to be signed by the Honorable Secretary of Energy, Carlos Jerico Petilia, and the Honorable Minister for Energy, U Ze Yaong. The MOA provides for the exchange of technical expertise, joint research and development activities in renewable energy resources, information exchange and networking, and other related activities in the successful adoption of renewable energy technologies and their commercialization. The fourth agreement is the Memorandum of Understanding between the Government of the Republic of the Philippines and the Government of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar on Information Cooperation 
in the field of news exchange, radio and television broadcasting, film industries, public relations, printing and publishing to be signed on behalf of their respective governments by the Honorable Secretary of Presidential Communications Operations Office, Herminio B. Coloma, Jr., and Honorable Deputy Minister for Information, U. Ye Tut. The MOU aims to strengthen information cooperation between the two countries. It provides for exchange of visits of journalists, cooperation between private radio and television networks, and sharing of best practices on media's role in national development and peace process. The next agreement is the Memorandum of Understanding be between the Government of the Republic of the Philippines and the Government of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar for Cooperation in Trade and Investments. It will be signed between the Honorable Undersecretary of Trade and Investment Promotions, Department of Trade and Industry, Ponciano C. Manalo, Jr., and the Honorable Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, U Ye Mint Ong. The MOU calls for closer cooperation in the facilitation of investments between the Philippines and Myanmar through the dissemination of investment information and consultation with the business community, among others. The sixth agreement is the Memorandum of Agreement between the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Republic of the Union of Myanmar Federation of Chambers of Commerce and Industry to be signed by the President of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Miguel B. Varela, and the President of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar Federation of Chambers of Commerce, U. Win Ong. The MOA calls for the exchange of information and the establishment of business contacts between the chambers of commerce of both countries through the organization of events such as conferences, seminars, study tours, exchange of trade groups, and participation in trade fairs. Lastly, we will also witness the exchange of notes between the Honorable Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Albert F. Del Rosario, and the Honorable Minister for Social Welfare, Relief and Resettlement, Dr. Mie Mie Ong Kin, on the turnover of the Myanmar donation to the Philippines. The Republic of the Union of Myanmar is donating 50,000 U.S. dollars for the victims of the earthquake in central Visayas and 100,000 U.S. dollars for the victims of Typhoon Yolanda. The Philippines deeply appreciates Myanmar's gesture of solidarity in these difficult times. We signed the Memorandum of Understanding on Agricultural Co as well as Technical Cooperation in Forestry and Forestry Industries Development. 
Agriculture is of particular interest to His Excellency the President. And he will also visit the International Rice Research Institute to acquaint himself with their latest developments in rice research. We underscored the importance of developing renewable energy resources, particularly in the areas of renewable energy and hydropower, and signed a memorandum of agreement on cooperation in renewable energy. To promote our trade and tourism linkages, we have agreed to update our 1979 Air Services Agreement. We have also signed a memorandum of agreement on visa exemption, granting Filipinos who are holders of ordinary passports visa-free entry to Myanmar for tourism and business purposes. We had the chance to pay a short visit to their country earlier this June, and we are pleased that more Filipinos will have greater opportunities to see the beauty of Myanmar. This will also facilitate the people-to-people -people exchanges that are vital to our countries and relationships. On this note, to further strengthen social cultural cooperation and the aforementioned people-to-people -people exchanges, we also concluded a memorandum of understanding on information cooperation. This provides for the exchange of visits of journalists from the Philippines and Myanmar for cooperation between private radio and television networks in our countries and for the sharing of best practices on media's roles in national development. We also discussed the necessity of further cooperation to combat illicit trafficking and abuse of drugs as part of our joint efforts to address transnational crime. On the regional front, we express confidence and support for Myanmar's chairmanship of ASEAN next year. As chair, Myanmar will have the crucial task of steering ASEAN. The theme that Myanmar has chosen as chair of ASEAN in 2014, moving forward in unity to a peaceful and prosperous community, fittingly captures the aspirations of all 10 member states of ASEAN. I also express support for Myanmar's hosting of the 27th Southeast Asian Games this December. Our meeting this morning, in fact, President Tenshin's visit to the Philippines is a testimony to our desire to learn more from each other and advance cooperation in various fields. We look forward to an even stronger relationship with Myanmar as we prepare for the commemoration of the 60th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations in 2016. We wish His Excellency the President and the rest of the Myanmar delegation an enjoyable stay in the Philippines. Thank you once again for the solidarity you have shown the Filipino people, a solidarity that is even more important in this time of recovery. This visit is truly a symbol of our shared commitment to continue as partners for the progress, peace, and well-being of our peoples, our countries, and of ASEAN. Thank you. <coughs> First of all, I would like to express Minglava to all the media <coughs> personnel present here today. I have come to the Republic of the Philippines on a state visit at the invitation of the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Mr. Uh, President Bagnino Aquino. This is my very first visit to the Republic of the Philippines. <coughs> Myanmar and Philippines are members of ASEAN, and the diplomatic relations between our two countries was established 57 years ago. We are very pleased that there have never been any issues between Myanmar and the Philippines. Shortly before this press briefing, we have had a friendly and cordial discussions on matters relating to further strengthening of the long-standing and cordial bilateral relations and deepening mutually beneficial cooperation between Myanmar and the Philippines. Myanmar 
During my meeting with the President uh, Aquino, <coughs> he reiterated his government's recognition and support of the ongoing political and economic reforms undertaken by my government, <coughs> which we are very grateful to the government and the people of the Philippines. <laughs> Myanmar uh, offers ample investment opportunities. As such, I have proposed President Aquino to urge Filipino investors and businessmen to come and invest in Myanmar. ဒီကကြောင်းရဲ့အလဲကျွန်တော် <coughs> I also requested President <coughs> Aquino to assist us in areas of health, education, and economy and human resource development. As you all know, we have uh, lagged behind in terms of uh, development compared to other uh, ASEAN member states, as Myanmar was imposed against economic sanctions for nearly two decades. <laughs> I'm very pleased that during my visit to the Philippines, we were able to sign the six memorandums of understanding between our two countries. And on, on our part, Myanmar will do everything to, for the uh, impl successful implementations of the uh, MOUs. ကျွန်တော်တို့မြန်မာနိုင်ငံလိုပါပဲမကြာကနကျွန်တော်သဘာဝဘေးတန်နေခံခဲ့ရတဲ့ကျွန်တော်နိုင်ငံဖြစ်
Pangulong Benigno S. Aquino III at Pangulong Tencen ng Myanmar. Nagpasalamat si Pangulong Sen sa naging mainit na pagtanggap sa kanya ng ating pamahalaan sa kanyang kauna-unahang state visit dito sa ating bansa. Nakiramay din ang Pangulong Sen sa mga naging biktima ng Bagyong Yolanda at bilang show of solidarity niya ay bibisitahin nga niya ang isa sa mga pinaka naging apektado ng Bagyong Yolanda ang Bantayan Island sa Cebu. Hinikayat ni uh, President Sen ng Myanmar ang uh, Filipino businessmen na mamuhunan at magnegosyo sa kanyang bansa at nagpasalamat si Pangulong Sen sa suporta ng pamahalaan ng Pilipinas sa kanyang ipinatutupad na democratic and economic reforms. Bago yan ay nagbigay rin ng kanyang uh, statement ang Pangulong Benigno S. Aquino III ayon sa kanya naging matagumpay ang pagpupulong ng uh, dalawang leader at nagpasalamat siya sa pagtulong ng Myanmar sa mga biktima ng Bagyong Yolanda kung saan nagbigay nga ito ng 100,000 US dollars at 7 uh, tons ng relief goods para sa mga biktima ni Yolanda. Pinuri ng uh, Pangulong Aquino si Pangulong Sen sa pagpapanatili ng demokratikong sistema sa Myanmar at uh, siniguro ang suporta ng Pilipinas tungo dito. Ang pagbisita umano ni uh, Pangulong Sen ay uh, pang uh, Uh, lalo pang magpapatibay sa ugnayan sa pagitan ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas at Myanmar sa larangan ng trade at uh, agrikultura, turismo, information exchange, depensa at uh, sa edukasyon. At uh, nagpahayag ng suporta ang Pangulo Aquino sa Myanmar sa pag-host nito ng ASEAN 2014 sa susunod na taon at ng SEA Games. At yan muna ang pinakahuling ulat mula dito sa Palasyo ng Malacanang patungkol pa rin sa state visit ng Pangulo ng Myanmar. Magbabalik po kami.